Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. Today, this is part 30, which is the last part before I do my progress report. So, here I'm using dark mode that you'll probably notice as soon as this video started. And if you like this, then just tell me in the comments. If you do not like this, tell me in the comments and I can switch it back. Uh, but that's just what I'm going to be using for this video, just to see if you guys like it. I highly doubt that any of you are going to be actually watching this video, as I'm pretty sure none of you have actually made it to the part that I'm on already, but if you have, then uh, tell me in the comments because uh, it's best if you do it before I make my next video so I can actually do it, but I highly doubt that you're going to be here in time, so uh, let's just get into it. So quickly what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new gun to the shop. This is probably going to be the last gun, and then maybe I'll have like customizers for these, but I'm going to add a shotgun. So I'm just going to duplicate the rifle here, and I'm going to call it shotgun, and now I'm going to draw it. Now, all I've done, I've not done much really, but I'm going to first draw it in the player. I always forget to do this, uh, but let's first draw it in the player here. I'm going to actually change these names to um, normal. The second one is going to be the auto gun, so auto, and then the next one is the rifle, rifle, and then the final one is the shotgun so okay so now let's just draw the shotgun okay there I have sort of a strange looking shotgun but that's alright I'm just gonna copy this over to this shotgun here I'll delete this one paste this one. The shotgun I'm going to make 600. I haven't really tried out to see how good the gun is yet, but I'm just going to make it that for now. And uh, now we can just du duplicate this twice and then make one while we're hovering it and then one while it's purchased. And there we go. Now we have everything and uh, we got the normal shotgun, next one, and then the final one. And what I was thinking the shotgun would do is it would shoot normal bullets, but it would shoot multiple of them. So it would shoot like three at a time or something, maybe two, three, I don't know yet. So, oh, probably three. Uh, what we'll do is we will add this to the shop. So we're gonna start, oops, do that. Uh, we're gonna come down here, and we're going to add another one of these. This is going to go to the next position of 130, and that Y position, we will make this shotgun as the costume, and now we can add that to the script. So we're just going to duplicate this, bring this down, let's say if it's 13 I believe, let's see, yep, so if the costume number is 13, then item four of guns so we're gonna have to go to the stage add another zero to guns and another zero to items like that and then we're gonna go to the shop items four of guns uh, switch it to shotgun three this is going to be uh, come down a little bit so I can go to shotgun two this one's going to be shotgun three um, it's going to cost $5.99, or you have to have over $5.99, and then uh, it'll take away $600. Place item 4, 4, it'll play the purchased sound effect, and the final one is going to be shotgun. But other than that, I think that's about it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the player, and we're going to, well actually we'll go to the bullet come down here and we're going to duplicate this script right there and we're going to add it into this else and switch some parameters so we're going to make four uh, set the gun damage to we will say one um, change the actual bullets by minus 0 0.5 and start sound gun Four is fine. I'm gonna change some of the sound effects, but if the bullets is greater than uh, zero, 
I think that every shot we shoot will shoot one bullet, so I think that's fine. Um, but it is going to shoot more than one bullet, so. Then, create clone of myself. We will say, create clone of myself. Mm, we can do it twice. I think that will be fine. Maybe three times. I'm still kind of deciding about that. And then, uh, wait, 0 0.3 seconds. If we shoot two, probably that's fine. Now we'll go up here. And we're going to copy this, we'll add this to the else, and we will say, um, if the costume number of player uh, players equal to four, four, uh, go to the player, point in the direction of player, pick random, minus one to one, uh, move 30 steps, okay, that all looks fine, it'll probably not go as fast, maybe like 15, um, but the direction is going to be the hard part. So, I think maybe what we can do um, is we can just take this one out. And then, I don't know if this is going to work really, but we can just see. Uh, what we'll do is we will add two of these. One here and one here. And then, it's going to point in the direction of player plus... We can say, well, we'll say maybe a random one. We could do, like, um, 5 to 7. And then minus 5 to minus 7. And just see what that's like, I guess. So now if I click play, and we go... Uh, actually, what I'll have to do is I'll have to have the shotgun as a gun that I can have. So, one way to just get the gun, I think, is to replace item 4 of guns with one and if I just do that and I click that I should be allowed to have the gun so now if I click Q okay there we go now I have this gun there we go so it is working shooting two bolts at a time which I like I'm kind of thinking what if there we what if we added a third one also I think that it should shoot different looking bullets. Um, so, I think we'll add another one. Because, why not? And maybe make it 0 0.4. Keep this block handy. It's pretty nice. Uh, we'll put that right there. And this one is going to be minus 1, 2, 1. That's fine. Now, I'm going to add make a, a new bullet I'm gonna delete this one and it's just going to be a solid black color uh, a little kind of like musket ball I guess so we have that and what I'll say is I'll say for each of these we're just gonna switch it to costume one in fact I'll just put it on the tops to save time but if it's a uh, number four then we're gonna set it to costume two and that looks all right so uh, let's try this we'll click the flag and then we will click that now we will play and when we press Q it takes us to this and we shoot yeah we're shooting like little musket balls now uh, they kind of seem a little bit small so also if they hit a uh, like a guy then they're not really doing more than one damage to it so I think it's really only helpful if you're shooting at like different guys, like hitting different people. So like, I don't really know how those guys just kills once, but then see if it misses. So it's like kind of good for long range shots, but it's not really super great. I don't think 600 is a good cost for this. I think it should cost maybe like 200 or something because it is not like really a good gun like you can't really it doesn't do more damage or anything it just has a wider kill radius I'm gonna make these musket balls a little bigger Alright, now one thing I'm going to test is test to see if it comes up in the shop. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, it is coming up in the shop, but it's not. It doesn't have the right uh, shop information thing. So we're just gonna duplicate this shotgun. I'm gonna make it 200. The item is kind of a try shot. So we'll have that there. And now we're going to go to the bullets, and I'm going to change this to 0 0.3. I'm also going to go back to the shop items, and I'm going to make this cost only 199 and minus 200. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to go to the player here. And actually, what I'll do is I will uh, get rid of this for now. And I think that's working. So now I'm just going to take all of this, add it to the player. Now we're going to go to the player and add this in the else. Uh, we'll, we're going to take out everything um, here. But we're going to add that to the end. We will get rid of all of this. And we will delete this. But we will add, set the bullets to actual bullets. And I think that it will be times two, I believe, okay. Times two, so we'll add that right there. This is can code coming in real quick, telling you that right here, I made actual bullets times two on here. That was pretty stupid of me. I don't know why I did that. Uh, it's actually just actual bullets. I, for some reason, thought that this was the automatic gun and it was actual bullets, but actually this was. So now, if you leave it like that, you're going to get double the bullets when you get the shotgun. So we don't want that. We, we just want to get rid of that and put this actual bullets here. For the rest of this video, I have it times two, but what you're going to want is actual bullets. That's what I'm changing it to right now, and now it should work. And it's going to be point three. that's right. But we also need to move a distance. And I think right now they're all moving the exact same amount. So there's really no point in having these if-else statements. So here I'm going to change it. So the shotgun's actually going to make me move minus six because it's pretty powerful, or shoots more. The sh rifle is going to make me go minus four because it is also pretty uh, powerful. Uh, these ones is going to only make me go back uh, minus 1.5 steps, and the normal gun will be minus three. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's go back to the shop and see if that shop items were working so we've got a house of bullets this bear bullets rifle and we're still rifle so what we need to do is we need to go back down here and see oh yes what we need to do is we need to call this not rifle three but shotgun two now when we hover over it it shows the shotgun all right that's good that seems like it's working we've got lots of items here and a lot more to come more than just guns and bullets we're gonna have lots of more stuff so we'll go back play and these are going back for the right amount here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of a hack it's gonna be uh, when key we can do anything I'm gonna do something like when key uh, P pressed uh, something that you normally wouldn't press and it's just going to change the cash by 100 and this is just going to be something for testing purposes so if I just go P and go up here we go to the shop we buy auto the rifle and we did not change the pricing of the shotgun it probably does cost 200 but we got to change the uh, look of it so 200 200 and 200 okay there we go now when we buy it there we go now we've got 50 okay when we go back play these ones go back a good amount um, now if we go forward here and then we go Q we've got this gun which does not go back as far which is good uh, Q this one goes back even more which is good and then finally we've got this gun which boom shoots us even more back so it kind of has a little bit more effect in our motion 
we could even use it to like walk around if we wanted to, but we can't shoot that often, so. This gun only does take away one of our bullets, so that's something that is, I just don't know if we want that. We may want that. We can make it wait, take away three bullets, but I, I think that's fine. So now that we have that, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a lot, and in the description there will be a link to our third progress report. I don't know how many progress reports I'm going to do, because I don't really want to give away a lot of this to the Scratch community. I'll only be giving this away to you guys who are watching these videos. So, sorry about that. This may be my last progress report before we actually finish the game. Um, so, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. We have done a ton on our shooter game so far, so congratulations on completing 30 parts. I've got big plans for this shooter, so keep watching and check out part 31, which is right here on the end screen. I will see you next time.